I want to start at the very beginning. What are your earliest memories of being entrepreneurial? Um, I think some of my earliest memories probably go at least into high school where um, you know, I had tried a, a stint at the Toronto Public Library, which I thought was, um, you know, a fun way to to get some pocket money. It happened to pay better than minimum wage at the time. I was 15, and something just didn't feel right about working that many hours and and waiting for each hour to tick away to to, to make a buck. So I started to do some home repairs for people, um, as the build your own PC revolution at that time was fairly big. Um, happened upon a lot of computer equipment in my own basement uh, through some family relatives that were, were living with us and uh, happened to be going to Seneca at the time. So I started to just learn and pick up uh, a lot of things that uh, at that time weren't as common knowledge and today would be pretty simple for, for the layperson to do. Um, and I used that to you know, turn what other people thought might be you know, a few hours of work into 15 minutes of my own at a few hours rate and, uh, and that felt pretty great. And, and I continued doing uh, stuff both on the hardware and software side uh, through school as a hobby um, and uh, left my, my gig at the public library and, and any other dreams of working at Wonderland or the grocery store. There's a lot of people who think <laughs> working at Wonderland is like the epitome of high school job. I almost did it. Actually, when I graduated, I got an interview at Wonderland and my, my father drove me there and right in the parking lot, he convinced me again that I had more opportunity with my time than to walk into that interview and spend the summer selling funnel cakes. So we actually turned around from Vaughn and went back home uh, and I, I took a sales gig that that summer instead. So yeah, all of those things are easy temptations, sound like a lot of fun. Heck, I could waive library fees and that felt like ultimate power when you're when you're young. No uh, late fee for No you. late fees, yeah, don't worry, I got this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah $2.99 on your uh, Choose Your Own Adventure book, no sweat. Um, but um, just having, <clears throat> having those kinds of influences and having the opportunity, uh, just you know, being exposed to, to software and hardware at a young age, um, just made me feel like I could do more with my time. 